What have we got in here? Here we go. Another modeling misadventure. <laughs> Woohoo! Hello and welcome to Modelling Misadventures. Now you'll have just seen from that clip, it's Christmas Day. And that means the start of a new misadventure. Now, I haven't made a model boat since I was a child, but uh, I fancied making one for a while. And uh, this is the one that Father Christmas has just brought me. So this is a German kit, uh, Aeronaut, and it's a model of a boat called the Victoria. It is going to be 700 millimeters long and 200 millimeters wide. And it's a model of a typical cabin cruiser. All right, let's have a look and see what's inside. Now I bought some extras with this that didn't come with the kit. So uh, they've been put in the box, but that's a rudder servo. A speed controller, some uh, wires for the motor. Um, these are just some couplings for the prop shaft and the propeller. And uh, that's the motor mount. So they don't actually come with the kit. I bought those extra, but this is what comes with the kit. Set of instructions. And then here we've got all the the wood pieces. All right, so now we're inside. Here's another set of instructions, but these ones are in German. So I'm gonna struggle with those. A set of fittings. And then here we've got the various wood pieces. So lots of strips more strips and the prop shaft. And then here we go. These are the cross sections of the hull. Nice. Various other wooden bits, templates, some uh, metal parts there for grills and it's like a dashboard. I think these will be for the window templates. Yeah, window templates or stencils. Oh, look at this. Oh, now we've got onto the mahogany. And this wood looks absolutely beautiful, doesn't it? Look at that. More wood underneath. Uh, and then sections of the cabin. This is going to be brilliant. I won't get all the wood out, but I'm very excited about making that. Now, this is the other set of instructions, and this one has been translated. So, I'm going to read that. Now, although this finished model is meant to look like that, I'm actually going to try and make it look a little bit differently. Because what I was really trying to get hold of for a model boat was a Chris Craft Corvette, as you can see on this picture here. But they are incredibly difficult to get hold of. And I looked for ages, I could not find a Sterling kit Chris Craft Corvette. So I got hold of this one and I'm gonna try and make it look like a Chris Craft Corvette. So that'll be an interesting exercise. Don't know whether it's gonna work out, but that's what I'm gonna try and do. Now, the first part of this construction is to build the framework for the hull. And they provide you with this template, which is basically a jig to put those formers in, those frames in, get them all aligned properly. So hopefully that'll make it a bit easier um, to get this hull started. So off we go, cutting out the laser cut parts. Well, I've got all the frames cut out for the hull and now we've just got to put them into that, that jig. So this is quite handy. 
it does make sure they're all properly aligned and it's going to be true and square. So I think this was a very good idea. Now the glue I'm going to use for this boat is this Selly's Aquadia. It's an exterior wood glue, uh, a white um, waterproof glue. Uh, should be fine for this job. Just going to put it in these frames and put the keel on. Okay, here we go. Just a little drop of glue in each of these. And then we're just going to put these girders in, in the rear half. Well, that's the basic framework of the hull glued together. I'm going to leave that overnight to dry now. Now this frame is just going to get a little sanding at the front here to get the angles around these frames correct. Those look all right now. All right, there's no messing about with these instructions because next on is these mahogany sides. Now you've just got to bevel the edge on here so that the two halves of the hull come together nicely at the front. That looks about right. Now we're going to stick these two sides together with some masking tape. Well, that's just a dry fit and it's gone on quite nice and I'm going to just tack it on now with some super glue. Well, I've got those sides glued on, so now it's just a case of letting those dry. Right, now it's time to put the bottom of the hull on with these uh, plywood sheets, but first of all, we've got to put this little reinforcing strip on the bottom of the, the um, mahogany sheets that we've already put on. Now those are the bottom hole pieces and they've got to be taped together again with some masking tape. Now the instructions here are a bit unclear. Tells you to lay the bottom on, fasten it on with tape, and then glue it from the inside. But I think what I'm gonna do is, I'm actually gonna put some glue on the bottom of these frames before I do that, just to get a better grip. Now I'm having real trouble getting the front of this hull together. And they say to use modeling pins, but I'm having no luck with that at all. So to help, I'm gonna use this clamp and I've glued some sandpaper on the jaws there because normally these things will not grip to a angled surface like that. But if you put a bit of uh, sandpaper on them, then they get a decent grip. Well, that's the bottom of the hull on. And I've gotta say it wasn't easy. Uh, it was absolutely fine at the rear end, but up here at the front, these curves are really, really difficult. And the instructions said to put some pins in along here. That did not work for me. Um, they wouldn't go through, they wouldn't bind to anything. So I had to just keep pressing it, holding it, using this clamp here to keep it together. And uh, anyway, eventually it's on. So this is all dried overnight, so I can now take all this tape off. Now I put together this little stand that they provide, and now it's time to turn the hull over and put it on here. And this is what we've got so far, and it's looking Pretty good. 
And the next phase of these instructions is to put glue along all the joints here inside, and that's obviously going to strengthen it and be part of the waterproofing. Well, that's all the joints glued, and again, going to leave that to dry overnight. Well, all those uh, glue joints have dried, so on to the next stage. And the next stage is to put these triangular strips along the side of the boat at the junction between the sides of the hull and the bottom. So I've tapered the front edge of these. They get thinner towards the front. Now, given that hull a sanding and uh, clean it off with meths before I glue these rails on. So I've started by gluing these on at the front. Uh, I think it'll be easier to bend them round that way. Okay, I've got them on. So the next thing is to break all these tabs off. They just seem to snap off. And they'll just need a sand down. Now we've got to put this transom on the back. Well, I've got the uh, basic hole completed now. Um, so I think that's probably a good time to call it a day on this video. Uh, in the next video, we're going to have to start doing some work on the hull in terms of sealing, sanding and painting. But for now, I will say goodbye. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time on Modelling Misadventures.